What is up guys, it is iMagix here today and um, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a squad builder and uh, basically, it, to be honest, it's a really, really overpowered um, squad builder to be honest with you guys. So um, yeah, I really, I'm really, i really looking forward to bringing this to you guys. But um, anyways, first of all, in goal, um, we have Donny. Uh, he plays for Liverpool, he's actually on the reserves. Now if you look at his stats, um, he's actually rated 74. But um, if you look at the stats for a silver keeper, that actually isn't really that bad. Um, moving on, we've got at centre back, we have got Bassong. He, these, this guy is a total beast on this game. I mean, for a silver player, he's so overpowered and he's just really strong. And he's he's not 76 pace. He's a lot quicker than that because you know he's caught up to the likes of Cavani, you know Giovinco. The, just people have played all round. He's just a great player and a brilliant defender as well. Um, you know, I really recommend you guys buy him. Next centre back we've got is Mariapa. Now, um, another really quick centre back as well at 77 pace. You know, and the the defending stats of both of these two defenders. If you play them both at the same time, oh my, I, I feel sorry for the opposition to be honest. And you know, for a sp another quick um thing I'm gonna let you guys in on this team is that you know it's a really really overpowered team, meaning you can actually be you know um proper proper goal teams as well. You know, I've done it easily you know winning games like 6-2 and things like that so moving on at right back um, we have Whitaker. now um, and again very decent player 81 pace and I think he's probably your best choice to go um, at right back if you're gonna make a silver premier BPL team you know because he's just a really good player he's really quick he comes up and down the field you know he's got good defending stats he can tackle and again he's quick and you know it just helps just being able to keep up with those quick pacey teams that a lot of people seem to have nowadays um which i know that could be a problem for quite a lot of people you know coming up against pace abusing teams and things like that so um left back we've got um buntner from manchester united um the left back from netherlands um again another really underrated player he is absolutely brilliant i mean his shot's only 65 but I'm gonna let you in on something, guys. The shots on these on these players, they're just absolutely un. It's just unreal because the their shots so low. But I hit the crossbar from about the halfway line with Bunt. I was just opening space, decided to have a crack with his left foot because after all, he is left footed and it hit the crossbar. I was really really surprised to be honest. So again, he's not he's not that expensive, but again, a pretty decent purchase. Uh, also, guys, the formation I'm going with today is four four one two one two. Another really overpowered formation, especially with this team. So, um, next at centre defensive midfield we have Diakite. Again, another tank. And look at this. He's basically the silver Yaya Torre. I mean, look at those stats. 78 pace, 79 dribbling, and 74 defense for a centre defense midfielder. This basically means he can play centre attacking mid or centre defensive mid. But, you know, I just wanted a really tall or really decent tank at centre defensive mid. So I decided to go with Diakite, you know, just because of his stats. Centre attacking mid, we are going to go with Delph. And again, you know, this guy compared to Lukaku, not Lukaku, like Bonnehor, isn't really that great. But you know, again, I've played, I've played with him now, and this guy's an absolute monster. If you get a shot, if you get space on his left foot, I mean, it's very, very likely to go in. Again, only sixteen thousand coins there. Um, you know, eighty-two pace, seventy-one shot for a silver player. That is awesome he's only got three star skills and three star weak foot though but at the end of the day this this team isn't really for skills it's for more technical players like me who like to just play the game and things like that because for me i'm not really a skiller you know i don't know many skills you know i might just do a ronaldo chop um here and there maybe a little mcgeady spin maybe but other than that i just like to play normally just chip over the top and things like that so uh right mid we have got we've got a lot of options here as you can see um, but the one I'm actually going to place in the starting 11 is Jimmy Kebe. Now this guy is so quick. 92 pace there as you can see in 61 shot. And a massive tip for you guys. I might even make a video on this. But near post on this game is so overpowered. Um, 
you know, I've scored a couple of goals with this guy on his right foot. You know, just smashing it near post and somehow it manages to go in through the tiniest of gaps. I have no idea. But again, a really quick player. Four-star skill moves, which I like on the wing. Just like in case I'm trapped between two players, maybe do a little Magidi spin through it. Or just as I'm about to cross it in, maybe a little Ronaldo chop just to get inside or something like that. But again, another really good player and a very cheap price. I think he's totally worth it. So moving on to left midfield, we've got Raheem Sterling from Liverpool. Um, again, another tank on this game. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the 74 rated uh, version just because that is actually about 375,000 coins, I think, which is a lot to pay for right now, considering his stats only go up about two on each stat, maybe. Sometimes not even on every stat, to be honest with you guys. But again, four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Again, with the four with the four star skill moves. Again, something I can use. You know, a little bit more expensive than Jimmy Kebe on the other side, but again, another really overpowered player. You know, I've seen him winning headers against tall people and just because of the momentum and he's really quick pacey player he you know you can get the crosses in and uh boy have i got a treat for you guys at the front we have four options as you'll see here guys i mean gosh he's so overpowered so um the four options we have here are agbon lahore as you can see lukaku mayuka and Benteke. I mean, sometimes I'm just spoilt for choice, but the ones I would actually put on my starting 11 are Agbon Lahore originally and also Lukaku. And uh, the reason this is is just because these guys work really well together. And to be honest, the first two I bought, and when I first had the silver team, like about a couple of months ago, I had these two guys at the front, and I didn't really, uh, I forgot to do a squad build on it, to be honest with you guys. And they were just tanks, but. If you also play with the other two strikers as well, if you have the money to or the leftover money to buy them, I definitely suggest you do. I mean, if you're going to buy two of them instead of these two, I suggest getting Mayuka and Benteke because, again, another really good combination up front. You know, just being able to plough through people's defences is just wicked, to be honest. So, um, looking at Agbon Lahore's stats, um, we, he's got only three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, but 93 pace, guys. Now, I'm not a pace abuser. But, you know, if I if I love being able to chip through goals over the top and having people beat them with pace. And, you know, I'm not one of those people who just pace whore down the line and cross it in when I'm losing, you know. I still play technical and things like that. So, um, yeah, he's a really, really great player. 74 dribbling, 72 shot. I mean, even his weak, he's, even his weak foot isn't that bad in-game, to be honest, guys. It's actually really good. So, uh, anyways, um, as you can see, I bought him for 178,000 coins. Um, before he used to be cheaper, but uh, after market crash, after the market crash, just as Team of the Years came out, um, his price actually went up, like even more than what he was worth. So I managed to make a lot of profit on him. I actually bought him for 130,000 when the market crash happened, and sold him for 198, which is actually really, really good. So I made a lot of profit there, as you can probably tell. Moving on to Lukaku, Romelu Lukaku, 81 pace. And there's one thing I'm going to mention here really quickly. He is not 81 pace at all. He's so much quicker than him. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys hear shouting in the background? I think that's my little brother. But anyways, um, I'm trying to ruin my commentary. Waste, man. But anyway, 73 shot again. If you get this guy clearing on his left foot and you take a shot, oh my goodness, do not look back because that is going in the back of the net. I mean, he's got four-star weak foot as well, but he's only got three-star skill moves. But again, a really decent player. All you really have to do is hit him with a fake shot. I mean, this guy is so strong. And, you know, he, he's 80k. He, you know, he's not like the most cheapest of players, but definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, I haven't really kept a squad this long, to be honest. I mean, I've been selling squads like crazy lately. Just trying to find a really good one. And this is the first overpowered one I've played. I mean, I've beat everyone I've played so far. And I'm really, really happy with it, to be honest. So, um, yeah, just move on to the bench quickly before I end this squad builder. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have clips for you. In the future, I guess I'm going to try now just because... um. I have I don't really call, record my games on FIFA but now um, that I've got my Elgato you know I can run back if I score any good goals or any goals in that matter or maybe I'll just forget one day I'll be playing FIFA and obviously like the Elgato has to be plugged in so um anyways on the bench you'll see we have Mayuka uh, 90 pace there and his stats are just wicked place for Southampton um, we've also got Benteke 
Sean Wright Phillips, again, another pacey player on the, at right mid. Um, we've also got Anton Ferdinand. I know he's he. I don't know why I didn't play him. I think it's just because I actually found the link or the two good the defenders that play well with me. To be honest, I mean you can experiment. To be honest, I haven't really played him since I bought him. But um, you know, I bought him as a backup just in the case. But still, he's got good pace as well for a centre back. Um, moving on to you know we've got three more bench players left. Um, we have Gabriel Oberson who plays for Newcastle again another quick player and he does have those four star skills that I like in real life he's a very very greedy player to be honest but you know in this game he's still a pretty decent tank these guys these two side men here just bought them in a pack I mean if you guys really really want 100 chemistry I'd say just add a manager because to be honest I don't think you're going to get better than that so it's only three chemistry it's three come on now but anyways guys, I hope you guys like this squad builder. Um, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already guys to stay updated with my videos. I have been at iMagix. Um, and yeah, let me guys let me know guys if you 